Hi guys, this is a very basic introduction to iWeb09. I'm definitely no pro at this site, however I have done a few different sites so I'd like to give you a bit of information, a few different tips on iWeb09 and how I create multiple sites as well. A lot of people ask how do you create multiple sites and I know you can do it in iWeb itself, however there is a handy little program on the net called iWeb Sites that I use and it keeps everything in order here. So let's start by creating a new site. So we can rename this and my website. I'm going on a holiday to a few different countries and I want to update friends and family uh, on the site and, and what we're doing. Give them a few different photos and whatnot. Okay, we call that holiday and we open that. So this is what the front page looks like. We have heaps of different templates that we can choose from. Kids blue, baby travel. Uh, travel's generally good if we're going on a holiday. But this time we'll choose a black one. So we've got different screens we can that are pre-set up for things like blogs and photos and movies. Uh, and it's pretty well drag and drop into iWeb09 so it's uh, it's pretty easy. Anyone can do it really. So we'll click on the welcome screen and here's our welcome screen so we can go in and, and rename this to holiday in this case and before I go on I'll just go over to the site here there's a couple ways we can upload this to the web uh, we have mobile me which is a fantastic uh, program that you can use um, for Apple users also great for the iPhone they've got the find my iPhone now so that's pretty cool uh, FTP server. I go through a company in Australia called Cove, www.cove.com.au, and I purchase my domain names through them, and it's pretty intuitive uh, in regards to getting all the information username, password. Uh, our site will be holiday, and your contact email address z at z.com which isn't mine, but anyway, and your server address that you can get from your hosting provider as well as username, password, and, and whatnot. So it's it's pretty straightforward. Uh, these days, domain names are pretty cheap, and the hosting through Cove is only a couple dollars, so it's uh, well worth getting. So we'll go back to the pages and creating the page. Now, there are fantastic instructional videos on YouTube on how to create websites, edit websites on iWeb09, so check them out please guys. And I'll, uh, just before we wrap up, I'll just show you a couple things. So on the page itself, you can put whatever you want on there, you can drag more photos uh, into here, so whatever you want to do and start creating. Uh, you also have the inspector up here, so you can uh, edit photos a little bit better and uh, the masks in here and whatever you want. It looks pretty slick, I think. And we can create uh, a heap of different things in here. So we might want photos and we can drag photos into here. And you can have a slideshow and organize how you want the slideshow to be done. And uh, you can create multiple photo pages, like you might have different countries you're traveling and you might want to show that. Uh, you can rename each image, so that's the uh, pink concert that we went to and uh, we went out to uh, FSS, uh, FF, FSS Night Club. Don't remember much of it. It was a big night. And then we can create different blogs. So we're going to the blog page and doing a bit of traveling around. So this is Sydney. And lovely picture of the opera house I took there. And Sydney. So there we go. And then you can start adding entries in there and you can pretty well do that on the fly you just update it each time that you make changes so that's an introduction to iWeb09 I will be looking at posting 
uh, some more intuitive videos on how to create different websites and and that on iWeb09 but yeah a bit of an introduction if you haven't used it before there you go and if you have any questions please let me know